Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Dan. Uh, it's about 9.45 on Wednesday. Wow, this week's going by fast. Okay, I've got a new trade for you. Uh, the symbol is ABC. It's simple as do, re, mi. Uh, the company is Amerisource Bergen. I'd love to tell you what they did and who they are, but I just don't know. Um, and I care less when I'm betting against a company. So, um, and again, this is really all about the technicals um, and and making sure we're going to stay uh, below the range. So this trade has a break even of 93.20 actually up here. It got a little better than yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I mean it it's right where we needed to be. And I actually want to show you this uh, a little bit better. So again, the line is a little bit higher than this, but as you can see, if we go back even two years. Uh, and you follow this line, you'll see um, resistance, resistance, huge resistance, huge resistance, resistance, huge resistance. So this 93.10, 93.20 level is, is, is really important. And uh, as long as the stock stays below that, uh, we get paid, which is nice. We have decent open interest here. Um, bid and ask is not terrible. We'll probably do a limit order. Uh, in fact, we will do a limit order of uh, um, this is a debit trade. Dollar eighty uh, would be the debit. Uh, no more than a dollar ninety debit. Let's make that the max. Um, and yep, I know it looks like max loss one eighty, but you can only gain seventy. But the way that you need to look at this is, uh, if we hold this trade for one month, your investment is one eighty. Shows up as max loss, and yes, that could happen. Your investment is 180, but you make 70, which is about a uh, 30, 40, about a, almost a 40% ROI if we hold it for one month. If we hold it for two, it's a 20% ROI, which I think is pretty good. Um, we have a really strong sell signal here, which I'm going to show you. Ah, wrong one, sorry. Here we go. I think it's easier to look at the six month chart. Fumbling a little bit here, guys. Sorry. Oliver, not now. Okay, so you can see, uh, you know, my sell signal, red below blue. Um, MACD, Shark is going under the water. We had huge volume on yesterday's drop. Money's flowing out of the stock. It's a little bit oversold right now. And um, as you know, I had been avoiding things at the Keltner channel, waiting for the bounce. Um, but we've been missing a lot of opportunities. The market's been kind of funny. Stocks have been more eager to get outside the, the Keltner channel. So now let's look at uh, like five other indicators just to get you comfortable. Number one, um, this indicator, when, when the bars fall below the red, it's bearish. When they're above, it's bullish. So that's number one. Number two. Uh, red line, bearish. Uh, oscillator, bearish. Below the blue line, bearish. In the RMO, bearish zone. That's a like a what? One, two, three, four more uh, uh, for, for, for the good guys. Let's look at the trend decider. Now this one, we want to see the green, which is the daily, below uh, the, the monthly and the weekly, which we are. For this to be totally, totally uh, a, a confirmed trend, we would want the red below the blue. But the fact that this, the, the green is below both, uh, that's more important to me. And again, we're in the red zone here. So there's another one for you. Let's keep going. I think this was 100% was confirmed for me yesterday. Okay, so these lines below the zero point, bearish, red, bearish, red, bearish. Um, and uh, no no lines here on the oscillator. And But the more important thing here is if you can see this little skinny red line, that means we've crossed into a bearish uh, a zone. Green line crossing means a bullish zone. So another big one for, for you. And then I think we got one more here. Yeah. Yep, okay. So um, red, bearish. Actually, this happened uh, today. This wasn't red yesterday. And then red lines and red again. So, so this is a this is a really a, almost 100% confirmed uh, down trade. Now, might it backtrace a little bit? Yeah, it might because we're on the Keltner channel. We might bounce back as high as um, you know the, the the middle of the Keltner channel, but that's okay because we break even up here. 
So even going up to 87, 88, 90, we're still in the money, which is good. Um, we are going out a little further on this trade, but sometimes we've got to do that. We won't be in this that long. Um, so I'm going to uh, make my order right now, a limit of, uh, let's see, I think I'll take, oh, let's just change a little bit. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I hope not, but I'm going to sneak this up to about 185. And what you can see here is it took the gain down a bit, took the loss down up a bit, and took the break even. That's what happens when we met, when we go too much uh, higher than the signal. So 185 is kind of the max for me. I'm going to do a limit debit for the day, and we'll just review this again tomorrow. Okay, so my order's been placed. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to uh, release one or two more here quick. Um, just so we can get some fills. Okay, hope this makes sense. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.